everybody, welcome to a Disney craft. Let's make Ursula's necklace and earrings. Hi guys, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me for a Disney inspired craft. Today's project is inspired by the Disney villains, Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I have thought about Disney bounding as Ursula for some time and I decided to make her necklace and earrings. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know, you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. You will need three toothpicks, gold polymer clay, purple polymer clay, a silicone clay blending tool is optional, a craft knife or clay blade, thin black ribbon, scissors, a baking sheet with an optional silicone baking mat, two earring hooks, two six millimeter jump rings, and two pairs of jewelry making pliers. I apologize for how dark and grainy this video looks. I was trying out a new filming setup and the lighting just was not optimal. Okay, on with the craft. Start with a ball of gold polymer clay and roll it out into a long, round cone shape, tapering to the end. Then gently roll the thin end up into a spiral until your shell looks like Ursula's. It only takes a couple of rolls as her shell is very simple. Use a craft blade to cut any extra off the end. Then make sure it's well pushed together. The next step is to push a toothpick through the top of the shell. Push it slowly using a twisting motion so you don't change the shape. Make sure to refer to a picture of Ursula's necklace and position the toothpick where the ribbon should pass through. Then use the smoothing tool to smooth down the edges of the holes made by the toothpick. And don't forget to add three lines on the shell to make it just like Ursula's. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. Baking time and temperature will vary by clay brand and the size of your project. Once your shell pendant is baked and completely cooled, carefully twist and remove the toothpick. Next, cut a piece of thin black ribbon or cord. The link should be long enough to fit the necklace over your head with a bit extra for the knotted ends. Then run the ribbon through the hole using the toothpick to help. Tie a knot in the end and your necklace is ready to wear. Making Ursula's earrings is almost as fast and easy as the necklace was. Start with two balls of purple polymer clay and two toothpicks. Roll one portion of purple clay into a teardrop shape. Pinch the bottom end so it's slightly pointed. Then holding the pointed bottom end, gently twist the teardrop shape into a spiral. Use a toothpick or a smoothing tool to smooth the spiral and create a few obvious shell lines. Refer to a picture of Ursula to get the shape correct. Her earrings do not have a lot of details. Next, take the second ball of purple clay and repeat the steps. Roll it into a teardrop, pinch the bottom end, and twist into a spiral. Use a smoothing tool to make both earrings as similar as possible. Once you have the pieces how you want them, push a toothpick through the top of both shells and now you're ready to bake the clay. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. Once the pieces have baked and completely cooled, 
carefully twist and remove the toothpicks from each shell. Now you have a nice hole for your jump rings. Use two pair of jewelry making pliers to open a 6 millimeter jump ring and thread the shell on. Then use the pliers to securely close the ring. Open the loop on an earring hook, slide the jump ring into the loop and close it up. And your earring is done! Then repeat the process for the second earring. And your jewelry set is complete. Now you are ready to Disney bound as Ursula or use these for a cosplay or Halloween costume. You could even wear them to school or work and see if any other Disney fans notice. Thanks so much for crafting with me today. Have fun with your Ursula Disney founding project. If you enjoyed this craft and you want to see what's coming next, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in more Disney inspired crafts, check out the playlist that I made for you. If you're interested in Disney inspired jewelry, check out my website, geekymcfangirl.com. I have lots of Disney inspired designs to choose from there. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget, you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. I put a link in the description box below.